This is a short video showing our new Dendi model DE50 in operation. The way it fills the bags rotating from one side to the other. There is also a small clip at the end showing part of an installation that we recently did with this machine. And all I've got to do really in, in actual fact is just press the button. So you'll see with the auger I've got a bit, bit of material in the back probably hopefully there's enough material floating around in there and then all you do you've got your connection up the top is done you've got the machine plugged in the auger plugged in if it's not plugged in it won't run anyway and there are a number of cutout switches on the auger so it's really a case of pressing the start button now at the moment because I can't I've got to take the bags off uh, and I can't run it continuously what I'm going to do is I fill the bag up and then you'll hear the auger start to run fast again because it's getting ready to fill the next bag and the idea is that you release the bag put a new bag on before the machine stops um, and there should be sufficient time to do this this is something we can fiddle with and there is a, an option for delaying it or, or slowing the auger down if you wish if you haven't got enough time to change a bag so what I'll do is I'll fill the bag up and then before the machine uh, keeps going I'll just stop the auger anyway if I was to leave it run then the, the auger will shut down anyway it'll stop by itself so I'll just come up and press the start button you'll see that starting to run the auger and starting to fill the bag the first bag always takes a little bit longer because the aim is that you you know, it's starting to move I've got to catch it around you'll see it gets to about 19.8 and then it's on its little trickle and then it'll spin around and then what I've got to do before it because I won't have time I press the stop button so you'll see we've got 20 kilos and that's a tight 20 kilos because I've got this set on 10 grams if I just touch it you'll see and already in the next bag we've got 10 kilos in there so you can see that this bag is filled and the next bag here is theoretically already half full anyway so that's why you know you set the machine up it can can be quite efficient so I'm just going to pause this again and I'll take this bag off and you'll see at the moment I've eaten a bit of material so I need to put a bit of material back in the bin now what I've done changed put a new bag on and it's the same as if the machine had cut out you can see this oh it's pretty close it's it's back on zero again so that's good just keep an eye an eye on the uh, the weight itself um, with the scale originally so all we really do is because it's stopped or I stopped the door it stops automatically if there's not another bag you've got to press the start button again so we'll start that and you'll see this one's already got the 10 kilos in it and so it will start to feed and then start to weigh off whoops it's a bit flary and then it gets up and goes onto the dribble feed whoops and then weighs off okay so I've, I'll let it shut off by itself so you can see that the auger will stop you can see the dust extraction I don't have any so it's a little bit smoky up the top and so we've ended up we've got 16 kilos in the next bag and we got 19.99 which is pretty close to 20 so we just give that a tap and that's that's all it is this tiny little bit of dust it's probably was 19.95 or something like that so I've got to get once again change the bag and start again now what I've done obviously change the new bag and you'll see because it's run up fairly high on the other one because of the auger you it'll it should produce the same weight but it will it will come around a little quicker and so uh, because it's already 
up getting close to where it goes through its dribble feed. So it will take marginally longer to fill up um, because there won't be as much uh, inertia uh, from the fast feed, but it should still produce the correct weight. So we'll start that running and you can see it's already started to come around and you can see with the weights there it takes a little longer to, to dribble off but should end up at the correct weight anyway and I'll just stop that auger again and you can see once again it's a bit smoky up there um, but even though it was up around the 16 kilos in the previous bag it will still end up getting the right weight because it just it can't do anything else because the servo drive is actually getting its instructions directly from the load cell and there's no variables there's no gates or anything like that it just rotates around to suit the weight that you want uh, it knows what it wants and the servos are very accurate they're expensive but they're very accurate and very reliable um, and it just produces the correct weight time after time. What I'll do now is I put another bag on and at the moment I was doing a 20 kilo bag if I want to go and do a 25 uh, I go to the setup button press the setup button then I look for the product profile so press that button and it shows me the different products if I now I was on the 20 kilo I want to go to a 25 I press the 25 kilo button and I return to the main screen now it's currently using the profile for 25 kilo so then once again all we do just press the start button and once again the machine knows what it's meant to do and it will then oh that's starting to flare sorry it will finish and weigh off and I'll just have to stop it again Wait. and you'll see there that's the beauty about this machine you've got your 25 and just keep in mind this is 10 grams that's going to show on the scale so it's really really good uh, nice machine Run out of material. Oh, that's all there is, yeah. 